It took me six months to get a meeting. Eventually, I got a meeting. I walked into his office. I didn't have much money. And I said to him, Haim, I really need a break. Can you give me the rights to the Power Rangers? How much are you offering? He burst out laughing. Uh, and then I said, look, I need a favor. And he said, OK, Simon, it's yours. So that was a very, very important break in my career. And I will never forget that. And I will always appreciate it. And then years later, I was at a friend of mine's wedding. Um, and what I love about Haim is every time you talk to him, there's always something good coming. Because he came up to me and he went, Simon, um, do you think there's a gap in the market for a Latin boy band? And I went, yes. He said, let's do it. So we shook hands 50-50. Six months later, we made a TV show together. And we now currently have the biggest Latin boy band in the world. And what I'm basically saying is, this guy's got great instincts. He is so classy. Genuinely, I hope I grow up to be like you. Your personality, all your businesses, and the fact that you are so respected in this industry, so many friends, you are a special, special, special guy. I'm honored to be here today. While I'm here, you may be noticing that I haven't actually got one of these and been on a couple of TV shows, so I would quite appreciate one. <laughs> get the plug in. Anyway. I don't know why you didn't get this years ago. I'm honored to be your friend and your business colleague. Hi, you so deserve this. Thank you very much indeed. Generous and philanthropic. Of course, these two go hand in hand. There is no more giving man on the planet than our friend that we honor here. He continues to blow my mind with his commitment, not just to Israel, to so many causes, many of which you know about, but maybe even more impressive, many that you don't know about, like my own foundation, just to name one of hundreds. The giving is relentless, it's endless, and it's budgetless, if that is even a word, I don't know. <laughs> Hospitals built, lives saved, families brought together, children healed, soldiers rehabilitated, research advanced, roads built, houses built, walls built, and even walls torn down. He has the need to give back even beyond what is extreme. It feeds his soul, and I know it comes from his great love for his parents, his unique childhood, and his unconditional love for his family. I haven't seen all 831 episodes, but I'm gonna, it's a goal, it's a, it's a bucket list goal for me. But a team of California teenagers with a knack for taking down villains has inspired those of us who grew up as California teenagers to continue to look in the afternoons for something that would inspire us. And this movie will not only do great, it will make history again. How many people are planning to see this movie? Yeah? I think a couple of you might have already seen it. but And it's going to make history by having the first LGBT superhero, I think, in movie history, which is an amazing way that we give and continue to push who we are and make sure everybody can be a superhero. So on behalf of a city of angels, I want to thank this angel for what he and this family of angels have done in this world, in this country, and here in Hollywood. When Hollywood only becomes a place where we make money, we lose our soul. And what Hollywood has always done has been an embodiment of not just the storytelling, but of the story making of turning lives around and giving back and making this an example for everyone. And today, we celebrate both of your successes. Haim, congratulations. Congratulations to the family as well. And God bless Haim Saban. Now, I know that we're here to celebrate and highlight uh, his amazing success in the entertainment industry. But I am particularly interested in celebrating his philanthropic contributions not just to the 13th District with Children's Hospital and the various free clinics, uh, but has, has been mentioned, but his philanthropy, philanthropy across the world. Now, how great is it that when you reach su such success in your life, financial success, professional success, and you're able to attain such wealth that you do good with that wealth? That is the example, right? There is no higher calling, in, in my view. So. Uh, I'm just happy to be here to congratulate 
Haim Saban for his success in the inter entertainment industry, but also to thank him uh, on behalf of the citizens of Los Angeles for giving so much and making us healthier, making us more progressive with your political uh, approach, uh, your progressive politics, and your contributions and your philanthropy for a better, safer society. Thank you so much, and may God bless. Thank you. I am uh, humbled and grateful for this unexpected honor. From playing bass guitar in the cover band in Israel, and David was right, I was a pretty lousy player, <laughs> to my various partnerships with media companies, investment companies, governments, etc., all over the world, I've been extremely lucky, and none of it is, was, ever taken for granted. Au contraire, I count my blessing every day for our great America. I take it and take it from this immigrant from Israel, a proud Israeli American born in Egypt, a Muslim country. America is great. Not perfect, but great. And don't allow, and I should say we shouldn't allow any rhetoric to make us think otherwise, because America is great, period. As lucky as I have been in my professional life, it really pales compared to the luck I've had in my personal one. My daughter Tiffany and her husband Chris, my daughter Heidi and her husband Ben, my son Ness and his fiancée Bryn, and my littlest one Tanya, and of course my five grandchildren. I am so grateful to have you in my life and I love you all very, very much. But no luck of mine has had an impact on my life than my wife Cheryl, who I respect, admire, and love with all my heart. Thank you, Wuba, for standing behind and beside me all the way, but more importantly, in front of me, guiding the way. I'm a lucky guy and forever grateful for you. Thank you, my love. <laughs>